This is the Canon Canonet QL17 G3. It was my first film camera. It's a brilliant little rangefinder camera with a gorgeous design and a wonderfully sharp lens. And despite not having some more robust features that other 35 millimeter cameras have, it's still a really great choice if you're in the market for a rangefinder. I quite like mine. Um, despite its shortcomings, it's a camera that I find myself coming back to time and time again. If you've been doing your research and you are in the market for one of these cameras, it's inevitable that you've come across someone complaining about the camera's automatic shutter priority mode and wishing that it had an aperture priority mode instead. But I'd like to make a case for the shutter priority mode that this camera has and why I think it works so well, especially if you're going to be doing street photography with this camera. Street photography is this camera's bread and butter. Everything from the short focus throw to the bright range finder patch and the quick load feature make it a street shooter's dream, including the automatic shutter priority mode. To simplify a few things, when we talk about the exposure triangle, we talk about ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. We use the ISO to set our camera's sensitivity to light. And in the case of film, our sensor is the film itself and that ISO is fixed. We use aperture to control depth of field, uh, whether we have everything in focus or a very small plane of focus. And we use shutter speed to control motion, to freeze things or to create blur. Photographers like aperture priority mode, generally because the aperture setting has the most impact on the look of a photo. And shutter speed largely doesn't matter for shooting still subjects. But in street photography, motion matters just as much, if not more, than depth of field especially when that street photography is including taking pictures of people, people that are moving, people that you can't control, people that aren't on a set, but rather out on the street living out their daily lives. When the pacing is quick and your subjects are beyond your control, freezing them becomes a very important part of capturing your photos. Getting a subject in focus can be done at any aperture, and with the Canonets, 40 millimeter lens and very quick and easy to use short focus throw. Any setting between f8 and f16 will get your subjects in focus, even if your images in your rangefinder aren't matching up exactly perfect. With shutter priority, you can always ensure that you're either freeze framing your subjects or creating motion blur, depending on the look and feel and style of photo you're going for. This also allows you to take shots while you're on the move as well. You can take quick snaps mid-stride without fear of blurry photos. And this also keeps your street shooting discreet if that's necessary. So if you are unsure about this camera's biggest trade-off in other rangefinders in a similar price bracket, I encourage you to think again and think of the creative ways that shutter priority can be a benefit to you, especially if you're doing street photography. I think the advantages are distinct and worth considering. I have never once wished that this camera had aperture priority when I was out shooting with it. I think the shutter priority mode is perfectly usable and is exceptionally useful when you're doing street photography, which I've done a lot of with this camera. I may do a full review of this camera in the future. Um, I've had it for a number of years now and I've put many rolls through it. And I think I've gotten to know it really well and I've been able to pin down its advantages and its disadvantages. But for now, I hope this line of thinking might help you if you're considering this camera and had any doubts about the shutter priority mode. But that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.